Okay, we're alive. PC recording is on the way. Live recording is up. Uh, Sergeant Martinez, you may begin the opening. Good morning and welcome to today's remote New York City Council vote of the Committee on Land Use. At this time, would all panelists please turn on your video for identification purposes. To minimize disruption, please silence your electronic devices. Thank you for your cooperation. We are ready to begin. Thank you, um, Sergeant of Arms. Good morning. I am Council Member Rafael Salamanca, Chair of the Committee on Land Use. I am joined remotely today by my colleagues. We've been joined. Thank you. Uh, we've been joined by Council Members Adams, Ayala, Barron, Diaz Sr., Feliz, Gredenchik, Ku, Levin, Chair Moya, Chair Riley, Rivera, and Traeger. Uh, today we will vote on applications referred out from our zoning subcommittees, but before we begin, I want to recognize the committee council to review the remote meeting procedures. Thank you, Chair Salamanca. I am Julie Lubin, counsel to this committee. Council members who would like to ask questions or make, raise, or make remarks should use the Zoom raise hand function. The raise hand button can be found at the bottom of the participant panel. I will announce members who have questions or remarks in the order that they raise their hands. Chair Salamanca will recognize members to speak. We ask that you please be patient if any technical difficulties arise today. Chair Salamanca will now continue with today's agenda items. Thank you, Council. From our zoning subcommittee, we will vote to approve LU 777 and 778, the Arthur Avenue Hotel rezoning related to property in Council Member Felice's district in the Bronx. The application seeks a zoning map and zoning text amendment, including changing R6 and R6 C2 4 districts to a C6 1 district and mapping a C1 4 overlay within an existing R6 district to facilitate the development of a new mixed use and residential development site, including approximately 146 hotel rooms, 56 dwelling units, 17 of which would be permanently affordable, and 156 below grade parking spaces. We will also vote to approve LU 779 and 780, the ACME Smoke Fish Gem Street rezoning related to property in Council Member Levin's district in Brooklyn. The proposal seeks a zoning map amendment and a zoning special permit, changing an M3-1 district to an M1-5 district to facilitate the development of a mixed use industrial commercial development, including a new industrial facility for ACM E smoke fish and a commercial office building with ground floor retail. We will vote to approve LU 781 and 782, the 261 Walton Avenue rezoning related to property in Council Member Ayala's district in the Bronx. The proposal seeks a zoning map and zoning text amendment to change an existing M1 4 R6A district to an R8A C2 4 district within the MX. Uh, dash 13 special mixed use district and to eliminate a portion of the existing MX-13 district and a related zoning text amendment to establish a mandatory inclusionary housing area utilizing option one. We will also vote to approve LU 783, the 606 Neptune Avenue rezoning related to property in council district 48 in Brooklyn. The proposal seeks a zoning map amendment to change a C1-2 overlay to a C2-4 overlay within an existing R6 district to facilitate the legislation of an existing drive through facility, which is accessory to a youth group six eating and drinking establishment. We will also vote to approve LU-784, the 300 Huntington Street rezoning related to property in Council Member Landers District in Brooklyn. The proposal seeks a zoning map amendment to change an existing M2-1 district to an M2-3 district to facilitate the development of a new manufacturing and commercial office building, along with approximately 7,500 square feet of waterfront public access area. We will vote to approve the modifications OU785 and 786 for the 30-02 Neptown Avenue rezoning related to property in Council District 22 in Queens. The application is for a zoning map and zoning text amendment to change an existing C4-4A district to a C4-4D district and to establish a mandatory inclusionary 
housing area, utilizing option one or option two. A modification will be to remove MIH option two while retaining option one. Members of the committee and members representing affected districts who have questions or remarks about today's items should use the raise hand button now. Council, will you please announce members in the order in which their hands were raised? I currently see no raised hands. All right. Uh, since there are no raised hands, I will now call for a vote in accordance with the recommendations of the subcommittees and the local members to approve LU 777, 778, 779, 780, 781, 782, 783, 784, and to approve with modifications as I've described, LUs 785 and 786. Will the clerk please call the roll? Good morning. Matthew DeStefano, committee clerk, committee on land use, roll call vote. All items are coupled. Chair Salamanca. Aye, on all. Baron. Uh, thank you. I vote aye on all with the exception of land use 777778, land use 785786. Thank you. Ku. I vote aye. Levin. Aye on all. Reynoso. Council member Reynoso. I vote aye on all. Thank you. Traeger. Aye. Grodenchik. Aye. Adams. Aye. Ayala. I vote aye. Ruben Diaz Sr. Yo sí. Moya. I vote aye. Rivera. Aye. Riley. Oh, aye. Feliz. Yes on all. Borelli. I vote aye. Thank you. Okay, today's Committee vote breakdown by a vote of 50 in the area affirmative, zero to negative, and no abstentions. The items have been adopted with the exceptions of LU 777 and 778, as well as LU 785 and 786, which were adopted by the vote of 14 in the affirmative, one negative, no abstentions. Additional notes LU 785 and 786 were approved with modifications. Uh, thank you. Um... Thank you, Clerk. I would like to thank the members of the public, my colleagues, council, and land use staff, and the Sergeant of Arms for attending today's hearing. We will leave the roll open for five minutes. I see that Council Member Miller has his hand up. Good morning, Mr. Chair. Hi. Continuation uh, of roll call, Council Member Miller. Council Miller, Miller votes aye. Thank you. Thank you. We'll leave the roll open for five minutes. Thank you all. Councilman awesome. Feliz, you have your hands up? Ah uh, yes, quick question: Are we allowed to deliver post-vote remarks? Uh, if you choose to, you can. Um, normally, we will. You know, you just when you're voting, you can just say you would like to explain your vote, and and we'll, we'll allow you to. But yes, you can give your remarks. Perfect. All right. Well, I want to thank everyone for uh, supporting the Arthur Avenue uh, proposal. Uh, Arthur Avenue is home to the best restaurants in the city of New York. It's also the neighbor of the greatest attractions in the planet, including the Bronx Zoo and also the Bronx Botanical Garden, institutions that are heavily visited by people from all over the world. And there's actually a need for hotels in this region uh, so that we can create the opportunity for people that are visiting so they could hopefully stay for another day uh, in the neighborhood. Um, and the more people could stay, uh, the more business can be done and also the, the more the local businesses are helped. Um, 
this project, the rezoning, is a project that is strongly supported by people in our community, including the community board, including the Bronx Borough president, including the local businesses, the local bid, uh, all who are very excited about the project, and also the local residents, many whom are employed by the local businesses. Uh, this is a project that is good for Arthur Avenue. It's also good for the 15th Council District that I so proudly represent. And uh, the construction of a hotel is a project that will help ensure that Arthur Avenue continues being the vibrant neighborhood that it is uh, for many years and many decades to come. Uh, so uh, thank you all for voting yes. Uh, and I wanted to take a second to thank uh, the applicants, including Harry and his team, for being so committed uh, to building uh, and continuing to build a, a better Bronx. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Councilmember Feliz. All right, uh, so um, the clerk, if you can just give us the final roll so that we can um, gavel out. Sure. The updated vote, all items approved by the vote of 16 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, no abstentions, with the exception of LU 777, 778, 785, and 786, which were approved by a vote of 15 in the affirmative, one in the negative, and no abstentions. Thank you, clerk. Thank you, Thank you all. This meeting is hereby adjourned. <laughs>